everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to look at um, some functionality now with Pygame. So we've, we know how to pull up a window, we know how to add an image, we know how to upload an image, we know how to change the caption, um, we know how to place the image over the window and change the surface inside the window. So we got a lot going on there. So. All right, if you're new here, thanks for joining us. If you're back, thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please click, uh, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, we have videos coming out all the time. Right now, we're still doing one a day. So just thank you so much for watching. And important uh, program note, if I'm not speaking of something explicitly, we've already done a video on it. So right now, we're going to be looking at the functionality of key down. So let's just let's just jump right at it. So dir high gain. So all right, I remember when I was looking at this and I saw key down and key up and I was like, why isn't key right and key left? So all right, let's just let's just get this out of the way. Key down is literally when a key is pressed down and it is an action then the key up we'll do that later right now we're just going to look at key down so all right let's and we're going to be using our skills of incremental development so the first thing is we're going to change where our image was placed and we're going to change that to move because we're going to move it right so move X and move Y. And again, if you were doing something like this right here and you don't understand it, there's a video on it. Look up multiple assignment. I go into what this is. So move X, move Y. So, all right. Now we're gonna test it, make sure we haven't destroyed anything. So okay, boom, right there. All right, let's change this back to 200. Did not mean to do that. Was thinking about our next step. So all right, let's check this. But one important note, all right, for later, when we do the math on this, that's zero, zero. So all right, that would be plus, that way up would be plus, so down this way would be minus, and then that way would be minus. So okay, well, now we got that out of the way. So okay, here we go. So we have we have that. So now we need to track our events, because pressing a key is an event. And just like we pressed our X, that was an event. So we need to jump into if event, type equals pi game because key down was just right inside pi game right and it was all caps then if and left off a t and like i said before not a spelling channel type equals uh no this is key because this is key down, right? If key, now this is weird. I want to show you and make sure you're looking at this. See all these? These are all capital. And K for key. So caps lock, key, and then uh, let's do left. So then, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One for each press of the key, and then a constant of, uh, to change it so we press it and it zooms off. And we'll keep, we'll keep changing this, but we'll do this just like I've said, one step at a time. So I'm gonna try not to, to go too far. We're already five minutes in. So all right, so then we need to change our move X. So move 
x, then minus minus five, then if event dot key equals caps lock on underscore right. Let me get that out of the way so you can see it. And then move x plus equals five. So all right, let's check this and see if I did any any of this correctly. So all right, boom. Okay, now I had a throw up here because I pressed a key and I saw something change. Uh, hang on, let me get out of here. Win dot quit. That's another reason why I like leaving this win variable. So I close the window so it doesn't have any issues. All right, and look at what I did. Pi game. And pi game. Okay, let's rerun this. It's okay. And I am having a heck of a spelling time tonight. If you guys were here, you're, or you're probably going nuts, going, this guy has no idea what he's doing. He can't spell. All right, third time's charm, right? Okay. So, all right, one press, one move, one press, one move, one press, one move. Well, that's that's not very handy. I need I need this to be where I press it, and I need some more functionality. So, all right. But you now know how to you knew you know a way to do one press one go one press one go. So all right, let's close this out. Now let's be more accurate. Change x. Change y. Zero zero. That's what I was thinking of. So all right. This is really where this belongs. Okay, that one. So, all right. All right, so what we really need to do is do move x increment, because this really needs to be a different variable because we don't want to change it because that's why this isn't looping through. So each time it's just changing it one time and it's changing the main variable. Let's get an intermediary variable. So now we're going to go change, get that out of there so you can see, X. So all right, so now change and change. So now, this is what I want you to think about. So each time we press, it adds a five, then loops through here, comes back through. So watch what happens. And then we actually need to look, let me look at the time again. All right, almost 10 minutes. Okay. So now, okay. So we're getting it to zoom through, and there is a feature that let me get to see if I can get it to stop. Let me see. So which way is it going? Is it going? Okay. Let me see if I can get it to stop in here. So all right, this is what I want you to think about. Did I lose it? Okay. So this is what I want you to think about. Okay. So each time we're pressing this, we're minusing five. But the rate that it's going by, we don't know yet. So there is some functionality that there's a new method that we're gonna learn next time. Let me close this, because it's just moving too fast. That we're going to be able to control the rate of change to the window. So that's your hint. We're gonna learn about a new 
um, new module but these are this is the beginning and I really don't want this to be any longer so that that's we're at, we're at 10 plus so all right the first time through we saw how to increment a pr move an object with each press so that's not exactly what we want to do we want some more functionality so all right now we know how to add to it and get it to zoom along but we need to change that but th that's all key down so we're going to work on a key up and then um, maybe the the clock or the refresh excuse me the um, frames per second so all right that's a hint so like always thanks for watching please don't forget to click the like button if this is the type of videos you're interested in and if you are new here that subscribe and notification bell because we got videos coming out all the time and my all-time favorite any video requests because this is your channel help me give you the videos that you guys want to see so thanks again guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time